by the way mzee alikuwa msi nikiangalia mapicha alikuwa msi happy unaona ile pombe saa hadi nikisikia story yeah. alikuwa ki drop alafu najua au ile time yao kimaliza campus walikuwa na kujiwa na gari mm. wanapewa job, job yeah. so yeye alikuwa agricultural officer hiyo time unajua mm. ni mse mkubwa yeah. so alikuwa ki drop tu hivi anabaiya sio pombe so sio yeye amemzunguka <laughs> hadi nikiona picha zake yeah. alikuwa mse alikuwa into research <laughs> Welcome to season 2 of CDC podcast and in this season we are going to talk about our relationship men our relationship with our fathers how we interacted with our fathers and how that shaped our behaviors and the kind of fathers we are becoming and we will become and how that informed even how we conduct our daily lives and even work So if you're interested to learn more about this and how our fathers influenced our lives this is the season that you do not want to miss this is CDC podcast and welcome to episode 1 of season 2 and i have my guests today is uh, Kevin karibu sana Kevo asante sana eh unaweza ongeza sauti kidogo okay asante sana yeah yeah okay Kevo umesema wewe unachapa business hapa Nairobi hapa Nairobi uh-huh. mapiga biashara hapa uh-huh. tao uh-huh. kuza makomp computer uh-huh. accessories yeah. kila kitu anything computer utapata wewe ni msoma makomp mimi ni msoma makomp yeah uh, kazi iko aje kazi iko fiti though uh-huh. January kwa bit low uh-huh. but watu wamemeka wamemake ma commitment wanataka wamesema feb mm-hmm. feb tuwapangie vitu zao kujua feb, feb watu wanarudi <laughs> feb watu wanarudi <laughs> january ni kudeal na ma school fees january ma school fee watu waende shule watu waende shule bas hadi watu wa shule wenye wanataka machines wamesema wacho waingie yeah ndio sasa wa, wa consider kuchukua mm-hmm. uh, eh manza hiyo ni poa sana uh-huh. ilikuwaaje ukaenda kufanya na ma computer is any kitu you uh-huh. liked it or uh-huh. it's just something that came along so nilikuwa ngana passion na computers mm-hmm. though academically sikuwa na naipenda mm-hmm. but uh, nilikuwa tu na napenda ku deal na ma comp mm-hmm. so napata maybe nikipata comp kaya ya bro ya kuzo ningechukua nifunguanishe maybe ningeangalia kwanza bro alikuwa na kama na bifte yake mm-hmm. na alikuwa ameiva comp mm-hmm. so siku moja ka dismantle mm-hmm. mbele yangu mm-hmm. nikaangalia wenye alitoka nikaanza ku dismantle nikirudisha dismantle <laughs> nikirudisha <laughs> yeah hivyo ndo nika nikaiva makomp kabisa mm-hmm. hapo ndo ilikam nikajua kabisa mm-hmm. na nika grow na passion na computer mm-hmm. yeah. so ukwenda shule ati ku train ah, ah, si ku train yeah. ni ule umetrain tu mwenyewe eh, nimetrain tu mwenyewe eh hey. yeah. Eh hey, no ma sana. Siku <laughs> na ikakubali. Na ikakubali. Hey, interesting. Uh, uh. Nice. So tuko hapa leo kuzungumzia about just to reflect uh-huh. uh, our journey with our fathers. Okay. Uh, it is men specifically who uh, we want to hear this story from. Uh-huh. Uh, off camera you had told me that unfortunately we well, could put a chance ya ku interact uh-huh. na your father, uh-huh. right? right uh-huh. mm. Uh-huh. So maybe you can tell us a bit more on that. Okay, so mimi mzee ali passing nikiwa around a few months, four months hivi. Mm-hmm. Eh, so siku get chance ya ku meet. Nikuwa four months old. Uh, four months old. Eh, mzee, so mimi naangalia anga zile barua za uh, barua za nyeza death. Mm. Na wananga ile ilikuwa four months. Mm-hmm. Eh, cuz sama walikuwa naangalia mada, accident, so kulikuwa na ma police reports. Mm-hmm. Kuna time nilikuwa na interest na ziangalia, angalia nitaka kujua nini ili transpire. Mm-hmm. So niangalia naona nilikuwa around four months hapo mm-hmm. hivyo. Eh, interesting. Mm-hmm. So how um, do like you you never ever even set uh, your eyes on him at the same time kwa wani ati mm-hmm. unakumbuka uh-huh. ni picha tu ni picha tu ndo miona mm-hmm. eh, ni picha tu ndo miona ndio mm-hmm. alikuwa mzee wako mm-hmm. so watu ndo wananipatia nga description alikuwa hivi na hivi na hivi mm-hmm. eh. nasikia story from brother how many siblings do you have two two uh, so two you are brothers. three yeah. so we are three mm-hmm. uh, madhe angali yako madhe ali pass oh, last year but one last year oh, uh, pole, pole. 
I hope si covid ah si covid oh, eh, si okay. covid ilikuwa tu abrupt mm-hmm. uh, so nika ilikuwa shock mm-hmm. uh, poleni uh, so tuangalie story ya mzae though ku interact na ye, but mm-hmm. from your brother's perspective mm-hmm. wanasema alikuwa aje eh wanasema ilikuwa fun mm-hmm. ilikuwa fun sana by the way kwamba bro wangu mbigi ndo alikuwa bit mm-hmm. bigger mm-hmm so anasema mzee alikuwa mtu fun mm-hmm. of going alikuwa anamchukua mm-hmm. wanaenda naye mm-hmm. so pia anaweza pata mother pia alikuwa anatupatia ma, ma story ma story yeah. Yeah, when alikuwa na interact na bro big mm-hmm. so hadi unaona eh hey, ungekuwa fun sana mm-hmm. so akikwambia una miss hiyo part unaona yeah, yeah. eh alienda alikuwa atuambia maybe zile vitu alikuwa anafanya mm-hmm. vai mse venye alikuwa <coughs> Mm-hmm. character yake mm-hmm. so mimi naweza connect hizo parts mm-hmm. from what nasikia ukisema mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so vile what what is the one thing the most outstanding thing in ye, the common statement was wengi wanaongelea kuhusu your dad mm-hmm. alikuwa mtu very outgoing outgoing eh, na ni mtu alikuwa ever happy unajua watu tu wanapanga tu hawananga mm-hmm. sira Yeah. Eh, so hiyo ndo kitu common nimepata na watu wengi. Alikuwa msetu fry. Alikuwa mtu wa watu. Mtu wa watu. Eh, kwa zadi nikienda Ocha, mm-hmm. eh unasikia watu wanakuambia mzee alikuwa mtu wa watu. Mm-hmm. Akishuka tu hivi stage. Mm-hmm. Wasina eh. <laughs> watu wanachangamka, watu wanachangamka. Eh. Uh-huh. So 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 mko wadogo mlikuwa mnaishi Nairobi ama eh, Shago. Nairobi. So tumegrow up hapa nai. Mm-hmm. Ever. Jua di mzee alikuwa hapa nai, oh. walipata na mother akiwa kampo uh-huh. mother alikuwa kule yeye alikuwa po Kabete campus UN yeah. mm. mother alikuwa Kenya Poly mm. yeah. so mzee alikuwa kwa formal employment kind of Ili, alikuwa walipa, industry gen walipatana ka bado mm. so wali complete campus mm-hmm. akakuwa employed yeah ndio yeah. nauliza hiyo sasa hiyo industry alikuwa na work agriculture agriculture yeah. oh yeah. okay yeah so mzee alikuwa mtu outstanding mtu wa watu yeah, mtu wa watu Do you think you may shape even the way the three of you your 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 you said you are you have two brothers yeah, two the three brothers. of you uh, do you think nyinyi ukiangalia your brothers pia mme kwa hivyo by the ni same character so hata uh-huh. kiku describe ya mzae mm. unaona yenyewe by the ile character yako ya ndani hata ukijaribu kujichunguza mm. by the unaona tu ni ni same thing mm-hmm. ni real hata mta yenyewe tunaishi ni mm. real sana upate kuna conflict na na the neighbor so mm. ever happy mm-hmm. ever smiling you know, ni familia happy ever familia happy kunanga <laughs> na interact na anyone enemies una interact na anyone mm-hmm. Eh. Mm-hmm. so watu tutapata sasa zingine maybe kuna neighbor hii side nyingine wasikizani side nyingine wasikizani lakini mm. nyimu na blend across mnaingia na huyu na huyu na mnaingia na huyu na huyu yeah. eh. mm-hmm. so ni character nyingine imekuwa poa sana na by the way pia imenisaidia mm-hmm all along growing up hadi sasa kwa biashara. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh yeah by the way as a mm, business person yeah. yeye amekusaidia una ingiana na wase na, sana. Eh yeah, na interact na kila mtu. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Na uliniambia uli grow up mostly like now now that your dad passed on mm-hmm. and you didn't get a chance to interact with. Mm-hmm. So ni nani ali take up the father figure in your life? So luckily madangu alikuwa na bro wengi. Mm-hmm. my brothers so yeah, okay. walikuwa na brothers wengi mm. and then walikuwa very strict your uncles were strict hey, walikuwa the strict. opposite of your dad ah, yeah. Yeah, walikuwa strict <laughs> yeah yeah though hiyo t- time niki grow up mm. walikuwa na ni kama ni ni tough naona mani harsh zingine mm-hmm. kuona ni harsh mm-hmm. but say you reflect back unaona bila hiyo mm. ninge industry Mm. Yeah. So, so the toughness of your uncles worked out well. Ah, it worked out well. Mm-hmm. By the way, kuna kitu mbio kwa thankful kai. Because mm-hmm. kuna time vitu zingine maybe mother angesema ni ignore. Mm-hmm. Atakiita ile uncle yangu kama deal na mimi one on one. Yeah. The next time utakuwa utakuwa scared ku kufanya mm-hmm. vitu kai. Mm-hmm. Uh, utafikiria mara mbili. So kuna venye mm. mama alikuwa akisema kitu mnamlenga. Eh kuna zingine ndio mama pia alikuwa akinguruma mnatulia. Yeah. Lakini kuna zile zingine bibi amekwambia we. Kule kijana mm. ile group ni sikuone na. Unaona. Mm. Mm. Unasema acha. Eh, Unasema sasa una unajua mother says I'm in the job unasema ah. Mm. Hata niona. Yeah. Uh, alafu unajua pia mother yuko mobile sana. Mm. Apenda ku stay one place for mm-hmm. how you know. Mm. Akiwa around. Mm. But uh, <coughs> mankozo wangu 
haya naweza kuwa anyway unaweza kuwa tu uko nayo hivi na mmepatana unaona <laughs> yeah. so hiyo fia mm. so alikuwa akishawaambia huyu nimemkataza hivi hivi mm. na hataki kusikia so atakuta hivi wana pick up the case eh, utatembea tembea hivi unapatana na mmoja mm. na unajua walikuwa wengi na walikuwa sama ni kama wamesti surround karibu karibu karibu, karibu. Mm. so unaweza hata ukumaenda na isa nyingine unapatana na mmoja na... eh. mm. so ilikuwa sasa hiyo time ulikuwa unaona eh ni ngumu manzi nimekaziwa mm. but sasa ni ki reflect uzo hata ukiangalia zile group mother alikuwa anasema hapo siende mm-hmm. yenye alikuwa ameona mbali mm-hmm. eh. Unasema ni ukweli kitu alikuwa anasema ah, ni ukweli mm. ni ukweli by the way. Mm. Mm. Unajua anajaribu kuangalia unasema your dad was uh-huh. an easy going person uh-huh. for watu uh-huh. on the other side uh-huh. your uncles were uh-huh. strict strict eh. how, how is it possible to blend those two mm. about my dad hiyo mm. uh, unajua alikuwa easy going to jovial mm-hmm. so sijasikia ni strictness pati yake mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. alikuwa though nikisikia wakiona bro ilikuwa somehow like unaona ile cordial playful unaona mm. you got some outgoing part from mm-hmm. your dad mm-hmm. and now your uncles are coming with strictness so mm-hmm. grow up ku blend hizo two mm-hmm. two things ilikuwa aje yeah, ilikuwa tough kwa hiyo sasa zingine ulikuwa unaona baadhi hata mimi nilikuwa napenda kutembea sikuwa napenda tiku couple small kwanza <laughs> mimi yangu ilikuwa was mm-hmm. nilikuwa napenda nitoke nirudi jioni mm. na sasa hiyo ndo mother alikuwa anapenda mm. so ungepata alikuwa anaambia my uncles so ndo maybe niki nikienda stray mm. watawaambia mm. so napata nilikuwa somehow naji naji limit maybe mabeshti wangu akitaka kuenda hivi mm. sasa ngine naangalia nasema ai kikumbuka your uncles eh, nasema kikumbuka nisiende huko eh, na kwanza alishaambiwa huyu asiende hivi mm. alafu pia ndisha ambiwa mm. so una feel eh hapa acha ni limi tamu ingine utasema acha niende but hata kama mko ameenda far mm. utajiambia ah acha ni rudi mapema so mm. unaweza toko waache penye mlikuwa mm-hmm. wewe urudi msa mm-hmm. before ile time ya time ya mother mm. uh, hey, interesting uh, So so in a way walikuwa na wake in a way that wanakusaidia kuji control uh, unajua uh, hapa uh, naweza fika hapa but uh, siwezi extend si beyond extend, this uh, all right uh, na now your uncles were like the father figures uh, kuna uh, time uh, walikuwa na kukaisha chini wanaanza kukuongelesha you know as a man uh-huh. this is how you supposed to uh-huh. behave uh-huh. hii ndio unafaa kufanya hii uh-huh. ndio unafaa kwenda were there something like that every time every time mm-hmm. kuzapata saa zingine walikuwa nakuja mara nyingi mm. so ta aingepita wiki bila kuona one or two of the uncles mm. so ungepata uncles wangekuja weekend mm-hmm. every time waki come kwa my elder uncles mm. waki come watawakalisha chini waambie hivi chuo lazima uhakadi hivi chuo hiyo ndo ki unaona mm. mzee wako alisoma hivi so wakat so ange kukalisha mm. wakuombie future unaona mm. ilikuwa kitu ingia happen almost every weekend mm. hata maybe saa zingine maybe ka kulikuwa na makosa na mother may report ungaona maybe wangekuita kuambie nizindikize kumbe <laughs> eh, so akikwambia yeah. nizindikize maybe ange kuongelesha mm-hmm. na kupatie warning hivyo mm-hmm. unaona mm. so unajua kitu kai kishafanyika kwanza kani ule anko mkali mm. the next time utafikiria mara mbili before fanyo mistake mm-hmm. cuz zako take action na alikuongelesha alikwambia nizindikize akakuongelesha akakwambia mm. sawa sawa mm. tumeelewana hivyo mm. so what are uh, some of the common things walikuwa na kuongelesha frequently far sana ni group mm-hmm. cuz hiyo mtu alikuwa anapata group so unajua kuna utapata ungepata wengine wako na more freedom mm. uh, so ulikuwa unapata pia sasa pia unataka hiyo unaona mm. uende urudi ile usiku oh my best yako watu wengine from eh, other homes wako na freedom nini eh kadha walikuwa na freedom sana ungerudi time yote unataka unataka mm. na sasa hiyo ndio kitu mother alikuwa anataka mother alikuwa anataka hiyo time si giza ikiingia pia kwa wao ufike home eh mm. kuna character zingine maybe unge kufanya hair style zingine mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. so <laughs> mother ngeoni hivi group yeah. so sana sana most of the talk ilikuwa about group mm-hmm. na time mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. na kukuwa responsible maybe kwa vitu za hao mm-hmm. kani job unafanya hivi na story ya chuo grades ikienda mm-hmm. chini 
ama wanaona kwa too playful hakuna mm-hmm. time ya books mm-hmm. so hiyo ndio ilikuwa ngam mostly sana sana main part of the talk mm-hmm. uh, wow. now was there any things that your uncles were talking to you about as a man how you should interact with women uh-huh. mm-hmm. so hiyo uh, maybe alianza maybe timely uki nikienda uki ku, grow niki grow mm. wacha tsemili after after high school mm. eh, but ndio akaanza hizo stories eh, but hata hiyo major leave kiongea hizo story mm. ilikuwa ngine usika na career part unaona mm. enda enda kampu chop mm-hmm. cuz usipo chop life itakuwa hivi unaona ku marriage itakuwa ngumu mm. life watu wii unaona itakuwa ngumu mm-hmm. so ilikuwa anga ilikuwa anga na lazima ikuwe blended na story ya karia karia na masomo na kupasiu yani tu education mm-hmm. ilikuwa anga tu lazima waiungane ilikuwa ni enda around to that area mm. uh, mm. so major part ilikuwa anga karia mm-hmm. unaona mm. cuz my uncles to make sense believe ilikuwa anga ni okay get your career right mm easy part zingine zita come zita come into play it here blend in uh, it blend in vizuri mm. uh. all right so kuna time your uncles walikuwa na big very boko like hey, actually this week kwanza ni ama walikuwa na shaya wao nasema oh we see mtoto wangu kwanza wajua mother alikuwa amewapatia amewa trust anajua mm-hmm. in the way the way what i find what i find with caution with love mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. so itakuwa yani ku reform unaona mm-hmm. so hata uncle yango angenipata kwa situation ingine noma yeah. ange ange deal na we hata mother have kuwa atakwambia tuende nikupate kwa nyumba mm. <laughs> hapo eh zingine so walikuwa na freedom ya kukuwa kuku, discipline eh, walikuwa na freedom but hiyo ilikuwa majorly my elder uncle because mm-hmm. madangu alikuwa na bro wengi wengine walikuwa ya young mm-hmm. somehow age gap maybe na sisi oh. kitu kama six years hivi mm. mm. so utapata hao walikuwa vijana vijana walikuwa friendly yeah, unaona definitely hao walikuwa friendly You're almost like brothers yeah, yeah. like brothers mm. but sasa wale wakubwa hao ndo sasa walikuwa wamepatiwa ile discipline, discipline eh, yeah. hao ndo walikuwa na discipline sasa mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. sasa hao wangekupata kwa ngori mm. ama mother kuje mother ange report eh huyu mm. alifanya hivi mm. na muona na ule kijana amemkataza mm so atakuona ataku okay eh. na nyimbo ulikuwa unaichukuliaje ulikuwa hey, unaichukulia ni vizuri yo. ama ulikuwa na kasirika mbona anatupiga uh-huh. eh si baba yetu eh hey, time kuna time ilikuwa na kasirika eh. kwanza kuna uncle yangu mmoja dini eh hey, ule alinichapa yani ilikuwa anga tu any time niko kwa mystic hmm. ilikuwa lazima show up hadi unajiuliza <laughs> aje unaona uliambiwa uliambiwa siende huku but ile tu ndio umedecide umejificha umeenda hmm along the road utapatana naye. Mm. Umeambiwa chana na hii group. Mm. Uko na hiyo group mnatembea. Mm. Somehow utapatana naye alikuwa anaenda zake, unaona. Mm. Mm. So hadi ulikuwa unasema aje. Mm. Na hapo ulikuwa na alikuwa na kuona viboko. Yeye yeah, alikuwa ananiona yeah, kitu yeah, sana kwa akili. Yeye yeah, alikuwa na akili. Mm. Uh. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa na kasirika then. Yeye mm-hmm. hey, kuna time nilikuwa na kasirika nilikuwa nasikia vibaya. Mm. Uh. Kwa nini unasikia vibaya? unajua ulikuwa unasikia vibaya ulikuwa unaona eh hey, huyu si mzai na amenipiga nimeona wewe amenipiga viboko zingine mingi sana mm. so ulikuwa unakasirika unasema hapana unaona <laughs> hii hadithi zingine ndio unaongea na mabro unasema hapana mm. but kitu pia nili naweza give credit kwa mwanangu wangu mm. angekuwa ashakupiga hivyo maybe atakamu si walikuwa na kam kam mm-hmm. sama walikuwa na work out relationship uta, utapata after two weeks mm. mnacheka naye unaona <laughs> so ilikuwa sama uka mzazi yeah. unaona mm. mtacheka naye mm. after two weeks wata work out relationship mnaanza kucheka naye mm-hmm. tena atakama kupate kwa shida kupiga kupiga mm. ukasirike hadi utaki kumuona mm-hmm. but sama atakuja a work out relationship akikuja eh. mnacheka nini mnaendelea mnaendelea hadi mm. sahii nakaanga na imagine hata sisi sisi jua ni aje walikuwa na work out kuna time ilikuwa ngana kasirika hadi mm. unasema huyu hata sitaki kumwona <laughs> lakini sama hadi ukikumbuka yeah. unapata tu mlikuwa mna mnarudi mnapatana mnaongea mm-hmm. mm. right that's good do you think that was a good thing that your uncles were there na 
wali take up the responsibility mm-hmm. fully to mm-hmm. be father figures to you mm-hmm. to the extent even of discipline eh hiyo ilikuwa kitu poa sana cause nimekaa nikaangalia and part of the groups zenye mother alikuwa anitoa ndani mm. na zile vitu maybe kuna some extent maybe walikuwa na unaona maybe wana indulge in drugs pia i mean kwanga anataka kuja but with caution mm. though kuna time maybe nikiwa high school niliingia ingia mm. but nilikuwa na ile fikia unaona mm-hmm. so hiyo kitu ile work out vizuri mm-hmm. cause karibu wacha sema 99% of the group mm. ukiangalia huwezi mm. taka kuwa mali penye wako sahi unaona mm-hmm. so hiyo kitu hadi sasa mimi uangalia na sema hai mm-hmm. mada alifikiria anga kitu ya maana sana mm. na ama wangu wangu walifanya kitu ya maana ili niweka kwa line ili niweka on check mm. uh, mm-hmm. cuz by then angalia kwanza mimi mm. ai ninge ningeenda strive mbaya sana mm. na angalia anga zile vitu sasa zingine walikuwa wanafanya zile vitu nilikuwa nataka kufanya mm ningeenda street mm. vibaya sana mm. vibaya sana mm-hmm. so kasi yao manko ziko ku come ku kuongeza ile strictness mm-hmm. i think ningeenda street mm-hmm. uh, all right uh, so saizi so when you are a father also yeah. right uh, uko na mtoi uh, uh, so hiyo interaction uh-huh. yenye uko na na mtoi wako uh-huh. sahi is there a way that it reminds you that you wish your real father was present kila time mm. uh, kila time in, in what aspect kila time nikiangalia so mimi na imagine nyingi hiyo mm. time niki grow so hiyo relation nikiangalia mtu isai mm. na imagine kwanza part of ya kulak maybe kulak one of two mm. so mimi uangalia so kitu inafanyanga na jituma mm. so unaangalia unaona eh yenyewe maybe part ningekonga na mzai mm. kuna hii na hii singe wai lako mm. naona hii mm. na hii ingekuwa yeah. so hizo ndo vitu najaribingi mm. nikikumbuka nasema mtu wangu hata hiyo hata hiyo laki mm. mm. so unapata unajituma unajituma at least una set up hata maybe kaja fika hiyo age yeah. unajaribu set up vitu ahead mm. ndio the by the time anafika hapo yeah. basi kose hizo vitu zenye wewe ulikosa true uh, mm. uh, na apart from the provision part how else do you think you in this case mm-hmm. your your real father was not mm-hmm. present mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. how what what else are you doing in uh, as being informed mm-hmm. by that mm-hmm. to to your family currently as a man okay mm. so unaona mimi kwanza kitu majorly kitu na jaribingi pia na mbianga madhe ya mtoto mm. mm. ni kuna vitu maybe ukiona mtoto akifanya ukimkatazwa unaona endelea mm. maybe unaweza muonyeshe ile ukali side unaona mm-hmm. ndo so unaanza kumtrain akiwa mdogo mm-hmm. kuna maybe kitu kimwambia unaona anairudia redio unakuwa hivi mkali mm-hmm. akue na ile sura yako ukali mm-hmm. cuz unaona mimi kuna sura ya uncle yangu angeniambia ama mama mm-hmm. angeniambia wacha hapo uko unajua hiyo imefika hiyo ni stop <laughs> unaona so mm-hmm. Yeah. hiyo ni poa work out ali mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. so hiyo ndo kitu naweza ataka mm-hmm. na mtu wangu yeah. kuna tu nataka ku shape character yake mm-hmm. immediately tu sai ni singoje ati nini ama nini yeah. nataka kwanza ku shape ile character nataka mm-hmm. eh, ndani yake mm-hmm. sisi taka aende astray mm-hmm. nataka ku work on by the time maybe anaingia shule mm-hmm. kuna vitu ame grasp Yeah. Na bio time mm. nda jua venda shape kala juki ukikuwa informed kuna vitu anaweza pick from chuo mm-hmm. so nda kuwa more keen more observant mm-hmm. cuz hata kuna vitu nili pick from chuo mm-hmm. but zingine niliogopa kuzifanya kwa sababu ya mta yeah. ile strictness mm-hmm. zingine nilifanya kwa siri so unajua nini nilifanya kwa siri mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. so vitu kama hizo ndo nda jaribu huyo mtu hii asiingie kwa kwa hizo vitu hizo vitu hizo mm. character sema hata nikiwa mtoi uko nikianza chuo mm. ndajaribu sana zile vitu zenye nilikuwa naona bibi mama ange observe ange ona yeah. but mimi najua maybe hata nisi nilikuwa nazifanya yeah. so ndajaribu sana ndio kuwe kini mm. mtoi asiingie kwa hizo vitu mtoi wako ni boy ama dem ni boy ni boy yeah. <laughs> sasa una, <laughs> unajua hapo yeah. kabisa kabisa hapo kabisa kabisa <laughs> lazima nikuwe na yeah. hapa na hapa So we can shaping like 
the father that you want to be uh-huh. unataka wa father mwenye ako present physically uh-huh. eh, kila wakati mtu yeye anakuona ama utakuwa um, dad mwenye you know there for, for some of us men who say ah mimi uh-huh. Mimi nataka kujituma ni hata nikaenda nikae nje one week na tafuta pesa. Uh-huh. Ni provide. Uh-huh. Hata kiniona siku moja mbili kwa uh-huh. wiki iko uh-huh. sawa. Uh-huh. Ama you want to be present all the time. Eh hey, mimi nataka kuwa present. Ule mtoto anataka ni muone asubuhi, muone jioni. Unaona no, ile kumwangalia macho uone eh. Huyu kuna kitu anaficha hapa chini chini ama nini. Na mkimuuliza swali uone eh. Kuna kitu anaficha ama pia venye anainteract na mabake. Uh-huh. Unajua saa zingine unaweza ona mtu hiki jana nadhani anaweza usmart mama. Mm. So vitu kai hizo unafaa nataka nione ni point Zionu out. Eh. Mm. Una point out na mkataza. Mm-hmm. So though kuna hii ya kuenda mm. kutafuta nyingine mm. samo inaweza kuwa forced because mm-hmm. au una choice. Yeah. Maybe you must. Mm-hmm. Either hiyo ama wakae nje ama fi kwa mm-hmm. So mi naomba tu nishoifika kwa hiyo position. Yenye mm-hmm. ni must ni niende farm niende for a while mm. ku ku fetch bread ndo ni ni rudi mm-hmm. sasa hiyo ndo kitu naombanga Mungu isoifike hiyo position ni kwangi hapo karibu na eh. mm. ni monitor mm-hmm. ni mshape mm-hmm. cuz leo mm-hmm. ndo nataka ni muone asubuhi mm-hmm. muone jioni <laughs> unaona ile kumwangalia macho uone eh huyu <laughs> kuna kitu anaficha hapa chini chini ama nini na mkimuuliza swali uone eh Mm-hmm. kuna kitu anaficha ama pia venye anainteract na mabake mm-hmm. unajua saa zingine unaweza ona mtu hiki jana nadhani anaweza usmart mama mm-hmm. so vitu kai hizo unafaa nataka nione ni point Zionu out eh. mm-hmm. una point out na mkataza mm-hmm. so though kuna hii ya kuenda mm-hmm. kutafuta nyingine mm-hmm. samo inaweza kuwa forced because mm-hmm. au una choice yeah. maybe you must mm-hmm. ni either hiyo ama wakae nje ama fi kwa mm-hmm. sekali so mi naomba tu nishoifika kwa hiyo position mm-hmm. enye, ni must ni niende farm ni niende ni for a while mm-hmm. ku, ku fetch bread ndo ni, ni rudi mm-hmm. sasa hiyo ndo kitu naombanga Mungu isoifike hiyo position ni kwangi hapo karibu na eh. mm-hmm. ni monitor mm-hmm. ni mship mm-hmm. kuna ile godly factor pia mimi madhangu walikuwa wasi god mangu mm-hmm. zangu ni wasi wasi church wewe eh, wasi mm-hmm. church mm-hmm. So kwanza sana sana my moms my aunts mm. alikuwa pro church kabisa. Mm. Ni wase anything tough situation and I dedicate to God. Yeah. So hiyo ndo kwanza one of the major thing ningetaka ku implement ndani ya mtu huyu mm. unaona. Mm. So na hiyo lazima tu kuwe present pale. Mm. Unaongea na yeye mm. Sundays ukianza kutembea na yeye church. Unaenda na yeye church. Eh watch Sunday school. Yeah maybe ukianza kumfunza one or two mm. uh, usiku mm-hmm. morning mm. una blend ina Kenya nyesoma shule mm. unamfunza so mm. mimi nataka ku involve hadi kwa shule unaona mm. ile ma madza kikuja nishaangalia madza mm. najua namwambia fanya hii mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. akifanya vibao na correct yeah. yeah. so you want to be present present kabisa wow. yeah. that's, that's, that's great yeah. Eh, hey, yo I'm learning a lot. <laughs> Kusikia hiyo story that ume ume dedicate kufanya hiyo kazi na kukuwa intentional to, mm-hmm. to to raising your son that mm-hmm. that's quite inspirational. Mm-hmm. So hiyo hiyo part yenye umesema about being godly. Hiyo mm-hmm. ndio swali ningependa kuuliza next. Mm-hmm. From your uncles and your mom and your aunties mm-hmm. you picked some things. Mm-hmm so seems to me we will pick more about the church yeah. kuna wale wasee ambao wanasema in their family yao wasee kunywa pombe so mm-hmm. aliona mzae mm-hmm. kila mtu akunywa pombe mm-hmm. you pick that one and go mm-hmm. did you pick that ama nyenye ilikuwa church purely by the way mzae alikuwa msi nikiangalia mapicha alikuwa msi happy unaona ile pombe saa hadi nikisikia story yeah. alikuwa ki drop alafu najua au ile tenyo kimaliza campus walikuwa na kujiona na gari mm. wanapewa job, job yeah. so yeye alikuwa agricultural officer hiyo time na join mm. mse mkubwa mm. so alikuwa ki drop tu hivi anabaiya sio pombe so sio yeye amemzunguka <laughs> hadi nikiona picha zake yeah. alikuwa mse alikuwa into research unaona yeah. alikuwa into research so hadi ukiona sasa ndio maenda maana kuna mabishi wake wa research mm. 
unaona tu kuna mabia ya kuna lazima oh. meza imechafuliwa <laughs> yeah. so hiyo ndo some of the things yeah. zenye nili hata mimi nilipik nilijipata sijui nilijipata aje napenda pombe mm. so ni kuonja onje hivi kidogo kwa primary so kuingia high school nikaonja onja after high school niliingia pombe sana kabisa kwanza yeah. kwa campus yeah. eh nilikuwa nakunywa mm. nilikuwa na yani ilikuwa sama ufan mm. So kuna siku nikaenda ucha. Mhm. Uh, tu venye niliingia campus. Najua nimaliza high school niliingia pombe sana. Mm-hmm. Ilikuwa pombe. So mimi niliingia nilikuwa na kunywa pombe pia. Hizi vitu zingine zilinikataa. Mm. Smoking, hiyo mm. moshi ilinikataa. Hiyo okay. <laughs> eh, so nikaingia pombe sana. Mm. But kuna same kuna time nikaenda ushago. Mm. Niko ni ile environment. Eh niliona pombe imemesa watu. So ushago home eh, kwa side gani? Home ushago Kisumu. Kisumu. Eh, ukaenda ukaangalia. Eh, so nikaangalia environment wenye pombe imemesa watu. Mm. Nikaangalia my uncles then wenye walikuwa nikaangalia. Eh nikaona hii life hapana. Mm-hmm. Nikaona sama ni kama mm-hmm. mimi nakuwa dragged into that life. Mm-hmm. Sama nilijipata napenda tu kuwa uko hai, mm-hmm. unaona? Mm-hmm. Eh nikajiambia na pia ju nilikuwa mother alikuwa shanifunza story ya god god yeah. eh nikasema hizi utapata tu ju family mzaini kitu trend mm-hmm. kwa family mm-hmm. so nikajiambia no i have to change unaona no, okay. cuz hiyo ni future si kwa hii nime nimejiplania mm-hmm. so, so let me let me understand so from the your dad side mm-hmm. ndio wasao walikuwa wanapenda eh wasao walikuwa wanapenda from your mom side wasa walikuwa wa church wow, watu walikuwa responsible kwanza the aunties walikuwa watu church mm-hmm. na the uncles walikuwa watu responsible mm-hmm. pia wange and out you are in the church my from, the, wangu, from your mom from side the, my mom side mm-hmm. from my dad side watu walikuwa happy mm-hmm. hata mzee wangu ndio walikuwa yendo alijituma chuo unaona mm-hmm. akamaliza campus mm-hmm. nini bado pia alikuwa msi happy but alikuwa mtu responsible yeah. unaona mm. so yeye maybe angetoka job mm. maybe aki travel ushagondo anaenda na ita friends wana kuna no, unaona mm-hmm. na hivyo by the end wali meet his death unaona oh hivyo okay. wali meet his death alikuwa ame wametoka yeah, so, sherehe hivi uh, so ilikuwa kitu kama ni un, unfortunate cause mm. aliitwa alikuwa job akaitwa akambiwa mm. eh hey, kuna brother yako alienda Nairobi mm. tunasikia amelost huko mm-hmm. so juendo alikuwa elder brother akaitwa na mama yake sasa mm-hmm. shosho yangu mm-hmm. so kufika hivi venye alishuka mm-hmm. aka akapitia pub aka marafiki wakaingia club yeah wakaanza kukunywa sasa so, shosho yangu akasikia eh mzee yangu alikuwa anaitwa Tom akasikia eh Tom wako kwa club wana kunywa mm-hmm. Nika pia instincts zilikika akamwambia endo kamwambia kuje hapa swali tu mabrother yake mdogo mm. akamwambia endo mwambia kuje hapa mm-hmm. akaenda akamwambia mm. ama bishta yake akamchuja akamwambia ah wewe shia tutamleta mm. akaenda akamwambia shoshi mm. hey, shosha akamwambia rudi enda ambia brother yako akuje hapa sasa hivi yeah, yeah. akaenda wakafanya the same thing akamwambia wewe shia tutamleta mm ya tatu sasa chosha akamwambia enda na usirudi hapa bila eh mm-hmm. so yeye venye alienda akamchuja alirudi akaingia kwa hao yake akadozwa kwenda kwa shosha mm-hmm. so the following morning ndo sasa leo sina kam mm-hmm. kuna msi anaduna gava me ame dead hapo kando ya road mm-hmm. so even though he came to learn about the death mm-hmm. no, part ame dead kando ya road mm-hmm. even though he hiyo ndo kitu ya mwisho watu wanajua. Pole. So hiyo story plus na ile ulisema uli travel home uh-huh. na ukaona picture ya uh-huh. stories za pombe. Uh-huh. Ika change. Eh ili change ili gusa kitu ndani yangu nikasema hapa. Sasa unajua pia madangu alikuwa ananiambia eh unajua hii kitu pia nilifanya mzee wako kadidi. Uh-huh. So but sasa ile time nilianza uko niko na reality. Uko na reality. Eh nikasema hapa staki. Yeah. So nilikuwa nga na jaribu kuacha. Mm-hmm. Ngiacha kitu kama 3 months but uh, pia hapo ile ya mtaku ilikuwa nga na depo ya EABL. Mm. Na pombe ilikuwa nga cheap the same price watu wa club wanachukua nayo. Mm. To the same price it wanachukua nayo. Mm-hmm. And then kuanga na place kwa tunakaa hapo kuanga na duka ya uh, Arif. Mm. So ungepata una jaribu kuacha. Lakini tia hapo mta. Eh, kuna pita hivi zinasema <laughs> sitakunywa. Sasa kitu walikuwa nafanya wananunua mimi mzinge imekaa. Yeah. Unaambiwa hii 
Njiwendo kuu umeka umesema kunywi mm. shika. Bariki mzinga. <laughs> Mwagia wasi. Tegonga ufungue mwage. Alafu anakuambia mchukia kwanza ni wewe unatoa. Eh, Unaona? Eh. Ungejipada saa zingine umeenda, ume go along. Umekunywa eh, tu bado. Eh, yeah. umeionja. So yeah. utapata tu once umeionja imeingia tu hivi. Nikai na nini kitu ndani yako. Of course ina changamusha eh, sasa una flow. Eh, mm. Utapata hiyo day by the time maybe nafika, maybe ilikuwa hata saa sita mchana. By the time nafika jioni. Mm. Tayari uko uko maji, mm. unaona? Mm. So the following day unaendelea na system. Mm. Then itafika tena area threatening situations. Mm-hmm. Kambi karibu gari pite na mimi. Oh. Eh nikaangalia nikasema hapana. Mm. Nikasema zi tena nikajaribu six months tena nikarudi ulijaribu ukaacha six months nika clean six months tena nikarudi uh-huh. uh, so time nili manage mm. it time sasa nilimaliza campus mm. kuna siku tu sasa nili come nika mix na story ya god word mm. nili come nikaangalia nikaona hapana the more e alcohol mm. inanileta ina ni keep fun god unaona mm-hmm. na nilikuwa nataka kuwa mtu god kwa mm-hmm. mother nilikuwa mtu mtu mm-hmm. god mm-hmm. eh, so nika nikataka kupasi story na god na niko na alcohol na kama na kuwa pia hindrance mm-hmm. na pia ni kitu pia stack isikuwa naitaka kwa future yangu mm-hmm. na pia sikuwa na ita, sikuwa na mtu then but sikuwa naitaka kwa mtu wangu mm-hmm. yani ni kitu nilikuwa naiona sio kitu ungetaka mtu yeah. ya kuangalia akiangalia eh, mzaya na jua naona eh, si, ya si kitu ningetaka kabisa mm-hmm. so hapo ndo nilikam nikaiwacha mm-hmm. na nilienta nikamaliza one year ilifika di point mm-hmm. hata ungeka pombe karibu na mimi na uende hata wiki singe igusa hapo ndo nilijua sasa nimeiacha successfully hadi sai hadi sai sijaigusa yani poa i can see kumbe family iko na iko na big impact on mm. what we do mm. and uh, how we view things mm. and what we become mm. okay mm. yeah yeah as we wrap up sasa okay. um so uh, what would you say right now about um Uh, about like how we should handle being fathers at the moment me i think fatherhood mm. kitu kwanza so ndai blend na story ya god yenye nimelearn mm. first as a man wewe ni a priest in your home unaona a priest kitu, eh, kitu mm. kila mtu anafaa kujua mm. as a man wewe ni priest kwa nyumba yako mm. iko kwa bible yes you are a priest in your home mm. so kitu ya kitu ya kwanza usi neglect your Christ to duty yeah. unaona mm-hmm. kuona Christ kwa table Christ kwa bed mm-hmm. Christ ukitembea mm-hmm. yani mkikula mm-hmm. leta Christ kwa hiyo meza mm-hmm. bariki chakula ombea chakula so hiyo ni unajua ukiwa peke yako unaweza kula tu hivyo cuz una believe kuna tembea na Mungu na believe hiyo food tariko sanctified unaona mm-hmm. so but ukiona watu hii juu una una plan kitu ndani yao unasema eh nani amekula hivi bila kuomba chakula mm. ombe ni food mm. baadhi ndo mother you to train mm. mbona unaanza kukula na uja ombea food mm. so ni kitu unaoni your time ni kitu mother ali plant ndani yetu yeah. to the point hata nikiwa peke yangu hata hiyo time nilikuwa nakunywa mm. nikiwa solo hata kwa nyumba hata mm. sangime mimi naweza kuwa niko maji mm. na nimeweka kitu food hapo nataka kukula mm. ungepata na yombea yeah. unaona so ni kitu iko ndani mm. so ndio kitu ninge advise kila mwanaume mm. let Christ kila mahali kwa yeah. hao yako yeah. kwa tebo maombe mm-hmm. kwa bed kenda kuomba ku mm. doze mm. aombe sama kuna sama ukileta nga ukiplanting Christ ndani ya mtu mm. anakuanga na some checks yeah. unaona mm. na ukianza kufunza scripture unajua mtu akiona scripture kitu pia nilikama kulearn mm ina make it easy ukikujua uki scripture mm-hmm. uko na sama controls kuna vitu uwezi go overboard no, no. ukitaka kupita hapo eh, inakukumbusha eh, unajua so hiyo time yenye una mtu anakuona mm. utajua eh ndiye kuna mtu ananiona but kuna Mungu unaona yeah. mm-hmm. which ukitembea naye kuna hizi vitu fai kufanya mm-hmm. so sama inaleta control unaona mm-hmm. pia we as a father mm-hmm. ukikuwa na Christ ndani yako mm-hmm. Ina kufanya unakuwa better father kwa mm. kuna 
kuna vitu wezi treat mtoto wako kuna yeah. vitu wezi treat mtoto wezi treat wezi treat wife mm. unaona mm. so kuna controls utaji control mm. scripture yenyewe ina control ukisoma scripture mm. itakupatia good morals mm. unaona mm. utalea familia yako by the in an upright manner mm. uh, mm. utai hizi vitu nasikianga kwa kwa familia wanaume wamefanya hii mm. wanaume wamefanya hii ama mtoi kijana ameenda hivi astray yeah, yeah. ni ngumu sana ukileta from down because mm. mimi nimeona kile nimefanya ndani yangu mm. unaona mm. though hata ni cast to some extent ile ilikuwa rebellious mm. but hiyo yenye niliingia ndani mm. ilifanya kitu of which it come Mm-hmm. nikishakuwa mtu mzima yeah. ika come out unaona mm-hmm. only time una seek your knowledge yeah. ika come out so unaweza appreciate mm-hmm. unaona yeah. Yeah. so at, eventually the seeds that your mom planted mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Of, of pursuing god mm-hmm. eventually it, it mm-hmm. took mm-hmm. over yeah, it took over cuz mm-hmm. unaona nilitembea kwa hizi nchi ya kampu kutembea mm-hmm. hipi nini kwa zurura pombe mm-hmm but to some extent when you come unasikia sa una ukiatu kitembea ukisikia word mm. utapata tu ita inaingia ndani yeah. unaona sama unaona eh hey, this is wrong this is wrong mm. ile seed na ina mea unaona mm. so ukishakuwa sasa mtu mzima mm. ile seed inaanza ku bear fruits unaanza mm. kujuku realize eh hey, by the way yeah. zile vitu zenye mm. nilikuwa naambiwa naona ni kama wananikazia yeah. they are making sense they are making sense yeah mm. sure kuzukiangalia hata mimi bila group iliambiwa waache mm. eventually ile achio group kwa sababu ya pressure viboko mm. unaona mm-hmm. lakini ukiangalia saa hii mm-hmm. unaona ungekuwa kwa ile group yenye ungekuwa hata unashukuru Mungu na washukuru mzazi. <laughs> Una unashukuru hiyo kiboko. Yes. Eh. Yeah. So hata saini ki hata naangalia ngama anko sijai waambia mm. but na kanga hivi nasema yenyewe hiyo mm. kitu ilikuwa kitu ya maana ilikuwa sana. Kitu ilikuwa kitu ya maana mm. sana. Mm. Right. Kumis father figure kwa familia mm. inaweza kuwa na impact kubwa sana bila msipu notice. Mm. Uh. Wow. Thank you so much okay. Kevin. Okay. Nashukuru sana. Uh-huh. Tumefika mwisho. I think maybe siku nyingine tutazungumzia stories zingine. Uh, okay. But uh, asante for sharing your story uh-huh. and for sharing your journey. Uh-huh. Na ku to encourage okay. at least for every man out there that has uh-huh. listened to this story. I believe there's a lot of lessons that he has shared though you missed your real father but there's somebody who picked up the father figure okay. and their impact in your life right. was eventually impactful uh-huh. and you are grateful for that right uh-huh. so tutamaliza show mm-hmm. sijui kabla nifunge if you have something else you want to close for us with <laughs> kitu mm. ningefunga nayo mm. by then hiyo ni kitu muhimu mm. baadaye hata nikiwa pale kwa shop yes naambianga Naambianga wasi kadhaa hata wenye interact na mimi mm-hmm. na jaribingi kuambia mm-hmm. Azaman kuwa priest in your family. Yeah. Kuna kitu kwa enye nakuja na message ya God. Mm. Enye mtu hizi notice. Mm-hmm. Uki plant kwa mtoo hii mm. inaweza kuwa kitu ya maana sana. Sio hiyo yeah. ndo kitu ningeambia msi. Mm. Kufunza mtu injia za Mungu akiwa mnyang. Mm-hmm. Huyo mtu hii atakuwa better maana akiwa atakuwa better man in the society yes. na pia kitu ningesema mm. the rot in the society usidhani ati naanzianga society ati unasema watu ni wabaya watu, watu ni wabaya inaanzianga pale kwa hao kwa no, nyumba eh, yeah. yeah. ukinigret ule mtu hii mm-hmm. wale vile vitu wanafanya pale nje yeah. ni jua liachiliwa unaona mm-hmm. mimi mm-hmm. kuna vitu mm-hmm. nilikaziwa so mm-hmm. sikuzifanya nje yeah. na venye nika grow nikaona by the hizi vitu zilikuwa vitu Mm. vitu mbaya mm. unaona na ni mzuri sana nilikazia mm-hmm. so anzia pale na mtu kwanza mtu ni mwanaume yeah. anzia kumlainisha pale kwa mm-hmm. hao kwa nyumba yake akienda nje mm-hmm. yeye ni mtu responsible sure. na utaona society itakuwa responsible wow uh, great hey, that's that's heavy <laughs> asante sana okay. kevin yeah. so we will close the show with this saying that uh, inasema that uh, a man knows that his father was right yeah. when we, when eventually he has a son mm-hmm. who thinks mm-hmm. his father is wrong but they la big sense in india wakati ulikuwa mdogo una shida baba yako anakuambia oh sijini unashangaa huyu mzee ananisumbua you come to learn that he was right when yourself you 
have a son who thinks you are wrong. You are wrong. Hapo ndio unajua eh wewe mzee alikuwa anasema ukweli. All right with that we come to the close of season 2 episode 1. Thank you so much. This season we are talking about the lessons we have learned from our fathers. Until next time, subscribe to our podcast, CDC Podcast. We'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs> hey.